You know, Beyond Good and Evil 2 is kind of funny because we went from all these rumors, you know, almost a half decade of rumors about is it going to come, where is it going to come, when is it going to come, and we had no information, and now we have this deluge of information since it was re-announced in 2017. Every month they've basically been revealing either little bits of gameplay, the last one they showed was ship customization, before that they've shown off co-op, they've shown off ability augments, they've shown off combat, they've actually shown a lot of gameplay from this game. I'm really excited for Beyond Good and Evil 2 because I'm a huge fan of the first game. I'm glad that this one is finally coming. And also it just looks like they're doing some pretty amazing and ambitious stuff. If they can pull off a lot of the things that they're hoping to do, it, it could be really, really cool. Keep laughing, fools. The key ingredients to good cooking. So we know that Beyond Good and Evil 2 is not going to be at Ubisoft's E3 live show, but they are doing another dev live stream ahead of it on June 5th, that there's going to be some new gameplay details and some other stuff shown. I really hope we get a better sense of sort of the core loop of what you're going to be doing in this game. When you sit down to play Beyond Good and Evil 2, here's what it's actually going to look like. That's really what I think is missing so far, and that's really, really what I want to see from this E3.